Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Battaglia. We're going to take a look at the Malaria Med Explorer app that is part of the Amplify Natural Selection Engineering Internship, specifically the assignment that's for November 12th. However, the app is used throughout our unit. Since this is the first time, I'll go a little bit slower. So here I am in Google Classroom. Here's the assignment. You'll notice two things here. The first is a direct link to the app, and the second is the assignment for Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the assignment first, and then we can open up the app in just a moment. Now, the app can be opened up either through the link I gave you, or it can be opened up through Amplify in the Futura tool, like I showed you in class. Now that I've opened up the assignment, we look at the background information, and we can see that in this internship, we are going to be designing an effective antimalarial drug. And an effective drug will be one that does not create parasites that are resistant to the drug. Once parasites become resistant, then the drug is no longer effective. They don't die. So here we have some vocabulary. The vocabulary we went over in class. Malaria is the disease caused by the parasite. The antimalarial is the drug. Criteria is what we're trying to uh, ensure we're following. And then the other two words, parasite and resistance. Be sure to look over those. Our task is on that link. You're going to follow the instructions below. We have three parts here, part one, part two, and part three. You'll be writing your answers in those yellow boxes. Part three is an optional part. If you can, go ahead and give that a try. It'll really help you as we move through. So we do want to go ahead and open up this link. And like I said, you can find the link through the Futura uh, part of Amplify, or you can just use that link. I would suggest you click up here and bookmark it so that you can find it really easily as we move forward. Okay, so once you have this open, it's nice to have both tabs open at the same time so you can kind of go back and forth and read what you're supposed to do as you move through it. Now, I already have it open in another tab. So let's see. So you see over here in day one, we have all of the drugs, the doses, and how much it costs for a single drug. So if I go ahead, let's say I'm going to choose drug B, that's a large dose. You can see the, the picture of the drug is a little bit larger, like the picture of the pill, and it costs 40 cents for that one dosage. Now down at the bottom, a thousand doses then would be four hundred dollars, and here we can see that it gives us that day one dosage information. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a day. When I add a day, another box comes on here. The other grid appears, and let's say on day two, I'm going to decide. Let's try a small dose of drug B. And the cost is there. And we can see on the bottom the total cost for the treatment. Now we have day one, day two. Now I'm going to keep adding days and different combinations of drugs. Let's see what the maximum is I can add. Oh, okay, so what's the maximum? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like seven is the maximum. Now, once I have the maximum, let's look at this center here. This center shows me the drugs I chose for each day. So I can see it pretty easily because I can no longer see it on the left. It's hidden. On the bottom, I see the total cost for all of the treatments. Now, what happens if I click on the trash can? Okay, so I can see it removes the day. I have six days left. So for my six days, my total cost 
was $1,950. So yours might be different. Now I'm going to click test. And it will take a couple minutes and this is the simulation. Now, once I click test, I get this design details box. And you can think of this as the malaria treatment. If somebody were to receive a, receive a little package of their pills for their treatment, this is what it would look like. Day one, they would have a large dose of medication B. Day two, they would have a small dose of medication B. Day three, a large dose of medication C, etc. So that's what that is there. Now I look over on test results and I can see um, the histograms on the side. And the histograms will show me the resistance to the drugs, how many parasites became resistant to each drug. So remember, I do not want the parasites to become resistant to drug to the drugs. It's a bad thing if the parasites become resistant to the drug. So number of parasites resistant to the drug. Uh, none of the parasites became resistant to drug A. Okay, well, that's good. Because if there are none are resistant to drug A, that means drug A will still work and be able to kill the parasites. Many of the parasites became resistant to drug B. Well, if they're resistant to drug B, it means they can continue to survive once I give them that drug. They have mutated and now they continue to survive and drug C is somewhere in the middle. Down under test result, it actually gives you percentage with that information of how many are resistant. You can also see the cost and you can also see the side effects. In this case, the side effects of this combination is pretty severe. Now, if I'd like, I can go back and I can click edit and I can decide to perhaps edit my choices and then test again. Okay, I will leave it up to you to try it out on your own and also maybe try the optional part when you go down to part three and see what you can find. Good luck.